The event was called uh, Follow Me. Um, we basically had worship leaders and speakers coming from different churches and different fellowships um, on campus as well as around the Richmond area. And basically what we wanted to do was to bring salvation to this campus. We wanted to just basically proclaim on this campus that, you know, there is a living God and He loves every single student on the campus. I feel like prayer and worship, that's kind of like, it, it really does a lot, I think, for the body of Christ and to bring unity and also just it, there's just something about prayer, something about worship that really unites people. It's not just music, you know, and it's not just like fancy words, but it something that brings our hearts together. In prayer, the goal of corporate prayer really is to, I see it as getting a revelation of who God is together, becoming unified in a, as a community on campus or wherever, whoever else is praying. For, for us here, it's on campus. And we're aligning our hearts with His will to do what His will is on campus so that His kingdom can come and His will can be done on earth, on our campus, as it is in heaven. Every day at noon, we, um, we, we, it's called like, yeah, I guess it's called noon campus prayer or whatever, but uh, basically a bunch of us, we meet at 12 o'clock noon on the campus in the center of ECU at the Compass, and we meet and we gather there and we pray every single day. Um, I think not, not Saturday and Sunday, but um, every class day we meet there uh, at noon. He took me to colleges in this dream, and, and, and I had another dream that was very significant, and he said, I am about to raise up a college prayer movement, and I am serious about this. And I felt the Lord say, call the college students back to their first love. Call them to encountering me. Call them to meeting me. Tell them I'm the revelation one God. If they are bright and shining, if they become a people of crying out to me, encountering me in the secret place, gazing on my beauty, if they become watchful. Really what this just means is being watchful. Jesus said be watchful. If they, 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 he said, I am coming. If they gaze upon me, if they watch for my second coming, if they, they get in my word, I will walk among their campuses. I will bring what I am longing to bring, revelation of who I am, revelation of my son. set our lives about encountering Jesus. Daniel did it three times a day. Muslim people do it five times a day. Where did we get off into thinking we would set our lives around the American dream and not around Jesus?
to have ears to hear be silent and listen the day of the lord is near and coming soon it's a day of